So at first, it looks like there's two children's internet protection laws. And you're probably thinking, well, geez, they're going to be redundant. But actually, it's a focus. The first one on a CIPA is really the intent is for the school and library computers to frankly limit access to offensive materials. The other one is actually for the websites that children may go visit. So notice the two very different aspects. One's where is a student, the other one's where is a student going. So there are two very different things here. But overall, it basically covers any type of school that gets type of federal funding, uh, federal funding, school and libraries. It requires the schools to block and filter internet access, kind of stuff that we just talked about before. They have to put a filter uh, on pictures that are obscene, pornographic, harmful to minors. They have to adopt and enforce a policy to monitor online activity for minors. And then we have to implement internet safety policy that addresses all these different things. But again, the, notice how this is really trying to set up saying, look, these are the things that you need to address in your risk management plan. These are all items that we can go down and use as our threat and our uh, vulnerability pairs or something of that like nature. So, so this is trying to help guide us in the right direction. While, yes, it's another oversight and something else that you have to worry about, it's trying to at least give you ideas of things that you need to have in your risk management plan anyway. Now, that's if you're a school or a library. Here, if you're a website that's actually going to have children be on it, now you have other things that you must think about. The contents of a privacy policy, that needs to be on there, especially if you're collecting any type of personal information from the young viewers from that website. And it's the responsibility of a website owner regarding children's privacy to make sure that they are, well, frankly, targeting the right people that target those younger than 13 to make sure that they're going to be safe and that the ads that pop up everywhere, you know how that goes, is age appropriate as well. So notice again, this one, COPA, is more worried about the site itself and making sure that they're doing the right job of protecting kids. And then this is from the other end, from the school and library, make sure that wherever they go, they're going to have some protections for them as well.